Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I'm in my mind here. Oh, Barb's on. Hi. And I ran into what looks like a big ravine. I hear lava. So I want to explore this a little bit. I haven't, I've basically when I've been digging into ravines here, Oops, I have uh, essentially either, ah, darn it, given up and gone back, or tunneled or built a tunnel through it, which isn't, it just isn't uh, super productive. And I haven't really started any new projects because 1.13 seems to be imminent. It's a little dead end. And honestly, Things are going to change, <laughs> and uh, they did they did a third pre-release this past week, and who knows? Uh, the the new 1.13 could come out this week. Oh, oh, I've got ledges up there. This is kind of silly, dangerous. Ah. Oh. Anyway, so I thought I'd explore this a little bit. I don't really have any plans for this episode, but I wanted to see if I can get in a little trouble here, maybe. So, yeah, when 113 comes out, I'm going to have to, like, test the world on it and see if anything changes need to be made, because we have some command block, or actually they're um, not command blocks, per se, but uh, we have... Um, commands, well, functions. It had, they were command blocks, but they got kind of got converted into functions for the squeak, squeak. I hear you, bats. Um, <clears throat> for the mob head, mob heads, and all that good stuff. A little bat. Okay, let's get some light back there. Uh. Yeah, this worries me a little bit. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to get rid of this lava. Which might be dangerous all on its own. Oh, air cloak is on too. Pop, oh, there we go. And do we, we don't have a ton of ledges here. Oh, haha. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's a little scary. See those particles? That is unsupported gravel. Ah, uh, that, and there's water dripping above it, so there's water right above it. Oh, that could be bad. Or that could be fun. I'm not quite sure which. Okay, let's go up over here. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, uh, trigger all that gravel. Might be cool to see. So I've been mostly just mining and just sort of boop, do my kind of zen play. I don't really have any big projects underway. Because lots of things could change when 1.13 comes out and I have plans. Does this dead end here? Oh, so this isn't even a particularly interesting ravine. Okay. But there's some lapis here, so let's grab that. All right, so making a new little pool there. Nothing can spawn in it. All oh, that's gravel up there. Oh, that this is like a dangerous little area. I'm not sure tr triggering that gravel is a good idea. Okay. Well, let's, uh, I still hear lava, which is weird. So, yeah, so normally when I, when I come across something like this, I'll put a torch up above it and then I'll just use some of the blocks that I've mined and build a new tunnel and just continue. I put the light above that there so that 
nothing spawns on top of the tunnel itself. And one, two, three, four. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Put it here. Pop. Yeah, so anyway. This isn't terribly exciting, is it? Because I don't have much to talk about. Pop, pop, pop. All right. So, do you have any plans for 1.13? Um, I think one thing we're going to do, and I might start on that now, is uh, we talked about digging a big old tunnel in the nether and building, like, pick some direction where we don't have a lot of stuff and uh, just dig for a long ways out. Did I just do something dumb? Yes, I did. That's okay. Uh, just dig for a long ways, and then when we update the server, then we can just uh, build a portal, and then people can just dig out, go out to that spot and start start exploring and and explore some of the 1.13 stuff and hopefully it's an area I'm talking about a tunnel that would be like a thousand blocks long 12,000 blocks long something like that and build a rail out so people could ride out and not have to worry too much about the walk in the whole way it's gonna be a bit of work but it'll be fine and then uh, and then people can just start start exploring I should probably look in the map before I do that and figure out which way it's going to be but I think we can sort of figure from Ooh, I thought I saw a skeleton right there it's probably just this uh, this andesite or diorite or whatever this stuff is um, this stuff here anyway um, one, two, three, four. Oh. And figure out a good uh, just don't want that. Uh, figure out a, a good direction to go where people haven't really gone and the, the tunnels in the nether will probably be a decent indication of that because I've gone gone quite a ways out towards the modified Taiga Island whoops And we've gone quite a bit down towards the out past, like the iron farm and the amusement park area. And, whoops. Hey, cooperate, fingers. Oh, I dug too far. Duh. Okay. Um, so we've gone quite a ways out that direction, past the desert and all that good stuff. So I don't know... So I'm thinking digging <clears throat> hmm we've gone in the other direction we've gone out towards uh, Risk and C's place and and the witch farm so I'm thinking maybe we go out towards oh we've gone every direction haven't we it's like the guardian farm goes out the other direction huh okay well I'll have to look at the map and start start looking start seeing if we can figure out a good direction Let's go into the nether and take a look to see if there's something maybe obvious. So here we are in the nether. Hello, llama. Yeah, let's push you in there, huh? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so this is the central community area. So kind of this is the center hub of everything. This tunnel goes a long ways down there. And if we go down to where the guardian farm is, the guardian farm... This tunnel here 
goes a fair ways down this way. And there's another tunnel up here that goes out. Amusement park is right there. There's another tunnel up here that goes out that way a fair ways. This tunnel goes a long ways down. And then back over here. We have the nether fortress off here to the right. This tunnel doesn't go very far. Another fortress. That tunnel goes a long ways down. Because that goes out to the modified Taiga Island. And then over here, this tunnel goes down to the mining mesa area. That's a fairly long tunnel. Although maybe that's a one to start at. Spawn Island there. And we come down this way. And we get out to Risk and Seas Place and the Witch Farm. This one isn't so long that I've thought about putting in mine carts. As you can see it from here. So maybe from here we could take this and run this off farther down that direction. Or out that way. Which from here means a lot of uh, mid-air tunneling. But once we get to that, that probably can go a ways. Hmm. And I know people have flown around in the overworld and, and done a bunch of exploring, but... I don't know. I don't know, piggy feet. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, there's no obvious answer at this point. <laughs> This might be, that might be the best option. And then I'll want to put some rails in here because this will get tedious going the whole way out. But that'll kind of be the, the launch off point. And I'll probably build a little remote forward operating base from there. Another possibility, I suppose, would be to go all the way down here to modify Taiga Island and then continue this tunnel out. I don't know. Okay, well, we will have to figure that out. And it might not be, I mean, 1.13 could be coming out like this Tuesday or Wednesday, I suppose. Or they could be needing to do a couple more pre-releases. It's hard to tell. Don't have to decide right now, but we do have to figure it out. And whichever way I go, I'll get plenty of netherrack because I still need to slab all this. And I've been doing that with the netherrack brick. Okay, well, I suppose that gives us a project for next time. We will have to figure it out, but we will do so in a future episode. Thank you for watching, and I promise next time will be... Well, I, I'll try to make it more exciting, but there we go. Thanks for watching. This is Theron. It's Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Right? Bye.